Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And in this episode, this will be pretty quick. Um, I just wanted to kind of give a little bit of a tutorial on cooking a map or um, exporting your map to Steam. If you're playing around with the Arc Editor and you're building yourself a map and you want to be able to share that with everybody so they can download it on Steam. I know this is something I struggled with for, you know, probably longer than I want to admit to, but let's just say months. Um, couldn't figure out what was going on. I was exporting it. Um, I couldn't get it to upload to Steam at all. And when I would export, or export it into my mod fo uh, folder to be able to test it, I would get all the levels, everything. Nothing seemed to really work good. So after really checking the forums for a while, I figured it out and I figured I'd share this with everybody. So that way, hopefully you guys don't have to go through what I went through because there's a lot of tutorials on making a map, but they all seem to end right when you want to cook it and upload it to Steam so you can share it with the world. So a couple of key things that you need to make sure of is when you start building your map, and if you haven't done it already, you can redo this, but all of your uh, levels need to be in this mods folder. So I'm working on something for a server uh, that I like to play around with and I'm make, kind of making an event map for that server and so I have a folder in the mods and it is the name of the map that I'm creating and then inside there if there's any other um, textures, anything special that is not in the base game you need to add to this folder as well so when you render um, it can take everything that's in that folder, put it into the file, and upload all that to Steam. Um, so nobody has to try to download other things. Everything is included in your map. So after you do that and you have built your map, as you can see over here, I've got three, basically three different levels for actual maps. Is You have your persistent level or your main map. Then I have one for foliage, which is all the trees and stuff. I have one for the meshes, which is all the rocks and all the special stuff. And then spawns, I don't have any spawns in, but if I had spawns, um, they'd be located on this. So the reason I bring that up is this will be very key when you go to upload your map. So let's say I'm done working for the day, and I want to upload this and cook it and play it with, play it with my server and everybody else. So you come up here to the Steam Upload. Just make sure everything is saved. If it's not, just go ahead and save it. We'll come up to Steam Upload. And over here on the left side, this is why you have to have your folder in the mods. Because this will only look in that mods folder for the level that you want to create. So where you have this Medusa event map, bring it in. And the first time you cook this or upload it, it's going to list every level that you have. Um you don't want that um if you export all the levels because each one of these like foliage and mesh and spawns is a level if that is included all of that gets uploaded as a individual level and when somebody downloads your your mod all of a sudden they're gonna have you know four five six different levels that they got to pick from and if they open up one maybe it's just the foliage well it'll just be the foliage you won't see anything else so you need to delete everything but the main level. And so on this one, that one is called the Medusa event map. That's all that's going to go on there. Now, this next one, the test mod, only put something in here if you are going to cook your map and play it on your own computer. So if there, if there is anything written in here, you will not be allowed to upload. It just, it won't, it won't let it. Um... Now, if you do want to just play on your map, on your own, um, you can, let me full size this so you can kind of see. Here's a pretty good example of where it needs to go. So basically, wherever your ARC game is actually located, um, you, you just need to put this here in the mods folder, in the content, shooter game, so on and so forth. So you copy that, hyper, or that location right here, you paste it, you cook map, 
as soon as it's done, it will get put into that folder. And when you open up your own game on your own computer, you'll be able to play around with it. So it's a good way to kind of test your map before you send it on to, you know, to the whole world to play with. But let's say now you're ready to upload it to Steam. Um, you've tested it out. Everything works good. Delete if you have anything in here. So if you got something there, delete it all. Get it empty. So after you delete this, what you need to do is then come down here and kind of fill out all of this information. You need to have a thumbnail, something that will get attached to the mod when you upload it to Steam. I just threw in my little symbol guy. Um, you need to have a title, description, um, what's the visibility of it. Uh, put any tags that you want. So if somebody wants to look just, uh, just for a map in the map section on Steam, yours would be located in there. And then any change notes. You don't have to put anything in here um, because you can update this on Steam itself. But if you just wanted a, qu a quick reminder for yourself of some things that, hey, you know, I, I just so I can remember if I'm not going to modify this for a week, you know, what I change, you could do that, edit it when it's on Steam. So after you have all this filled out, you'll come up here, you will cook the map. So we're going to cook it. This can take a while sometimes. If it's a big map, this could take hours. Um, I've heard of some of these taking throughout the entire night, you know, six, eight hours to cook. It all depends on how much you have in there, um, how big the map is, and all that. This one goes pretty quick. So what we'll do is we will start to cook the map. You'll see down here, it'll start jobbing, and then there'll just be a big list of stuff that it's trying to find and render and all that. Don't worry if it comes up with a bunch of warnings like... Object global warning failed to load, failed to load, failed to load. That's fine. It's looking for key things. And if it's not in there, it's not in there. The game will still play based off of this. So we'll let this run and I'll come back to you as soon as it's done. All right. So it looks like it is complete. That little window pops up. Say job is done. As you can see, um, there's quite a bit of like warnings and stuff like that. But right at the end, uh, no errors, triggering instant terminate to avoid shutdown errors. Yep. So after that is complete, this little upload um, button is highlighted. And all you got to do is hit the upload. And this will then get uploaded to Steam as long as your Steam account is logged into your computer at some point. Um, some individuals may have difficulties where it may say that it's blocked. Um, you have to go into Steam and there's a way to kind of unlock it. We can go into that in a future video if needed. Um, but that's only if you have troubles. 90% of everybody, if you just hit upload and you have Steam um, hooked up to your computer and you've logged into it at least once, you should get this job successful. We hit OK. And then if we hop over to Steam, we'll be able to see the mod. All right, so here is the mod that we just uploaded. And it was updated June 7th at 108. That was when we uploaded it. There's some change notes. You know, June 7th, you know, basically I duplicated exactly what I did. So um, this is the basically the exact same one. So there is no change on this one. Um, but from here, you could subscribe. You could download it onto your uh, map and then you could test it out. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll, uh, we'll load up being this, this is already subscribed. We'll load up arc. We'll take a look and see what the map looks like. All right. So we are in arc and as you can see, here's our map and we only have one map listed. Uh, I mean, I've got other maps in here, but for the one that we put in, um, is only one listed. So that is why you only put the one, your main map when you cook it. So let's hop in and take a look and make sure that it still works. All right, that works. Just some random location to spawn, which I only have uh, one single spawn in here. And yeah, it's really dark. I'm still figuring out that as part of the map building. Like I've got the day night cycle work, but yeah, it is a little bit on the dark side. Let's uh, set the time of day. Hey, there we go. Now I can see a little bit more. What? It looks like everything is working. The foliage is working. The meshes are working. Actually looks good. And then over here, I've got a little music thing. Yeah, so this thing right here kind of gives out music, which is kind of cool. But it looks like everything works on here. So 
Very cool. Alright you guys, I just wanted to share that information with you in case uh, anybody out there was having the same troubles that I was. Uh, again, if you guys enjoyed this video, please uh, leave a like and a comment down below. That lets me know that you guys actually are enjoying this type. And uh, maybe we'll take a look at trying to do a, uh, a little bit more for map creating. Like, I am not a master at this at all. But if I can kind of help some other people out with uh, designing their own map to have a little extra fun in ARC, I'll do that. So let me know down in the comment if you guys would like that. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Take it easy. Bye, everybody. Yeah.